Shooter's World just had a uh, hazmat free deal when you bought four pounds of uh, Shooter's World powder. So about five. <laughs> five different ones. Uh, two of them I've already tried. Um, Tactical, which is actually an OEM powder. Um, it was in uh, preloaded ammo. Not sure if it was military or uh, uh, civilian, but that means there is no Lubbock data available for it. Sure's World had to do their own. Um, I've noticed that when you look at the two manuals, um, there's different minimum maximum charge weights and also powders are used in um, some different weights and calibers. So there is a wider um, range of uses for the powders if you go through both manuals. Um, I've also tried the match which is canister grade and I decided to try the precision. Uh, now I've talked to the Bell Station a couple times and he said that Southwest um, or mid south, silly me. <laughs> um, ordered the testing on this. His uh, ideas on it weren't quite the same as a, there, so uh, they've done more testing. So I figured might as well give it a shot. Now a couple other ones. When I talked to him first time deciding which powders to go to and narrowing it down to the tactical match, uh, these really were kind of weeded out, but I decided that after looking at the, um, the Lubbox data, I'd give them a try. Because <sighs> Blackout isn't listed for 223 in the Shooter's World, but it is in Lubbock's. So, figured, bah, why not? Oh, these powders were all on sale too, so they were a couple bucks off a pound. Yay. So, <laughs> so I figured, why not? Uh, buy four, the fifth one was, you know, half paid for. Pfft. Also, Buffalo. Ah, uh, this also in the Lovex has 223 data. Now the ballistician at Shooter's World said this is good for like cast bullets too. Um, so, yeah. We're going to give those five a try. And, you know, like I said, two of them I've already tried. Well, the tactical is actually pretty all right. Uh, it, it burns nice and clean. Uh, from what I've seen and uh, before the only thing I had was uh, tack so and it seems cleaner than tack <laughs> okay let me show you something here I may have to adjust my stand height so to my other stand actually so let me pause here be right back all right, the Shooter's World Manual, which was dated in April. Oh, let's see. Like the Buffalo. Notice there is no 223 data. This is what they've got. Now Precision has 223, 556. Match 223556. It's, it's all I'm concerned about myself, but you know, you guys, a lot different. Now, Blackout, there is no 223556. And Tactical, 223556. Um, it's just, you know, for an example for you guys. Now, I go to the back. There is Lubbock's cross-reference numbers for everything. I've written in here um, the tactical 
It has these numbers, but it's an OEM powder, so there is no Lovix data. Um, this is the 223 Lovix page. I just pulled it out to make things a little simpler. And I've written in what each one is. All right, now if you look at um, the blackout, 223 Remington. 55 grain. Uh, these FMJs, spire points. Um, let's see. Ah, Buffalo. 55 grain. Uh, and also 69 grain. And match is a 55 green, a 65, 69, and you notice there's no tactical data in there. Uh, so, <laughs> all right, red is, um, it means it's a compressed load. And uh, Shooter's World puts a little C after the um, charge weight to denote compress. Um, so, yeah, you, like I said, uh, you can see that going to the Lovix, you'll find different, different applications. So, uh, yeah, I just kind of... From my own reference wrote in what each one is <laughs> for a, you know it makes it easier for me and each different powder i just do that if uh in the future they release new powders they testing it cross reference and uh see what's what all right well i figured i would throw that in there i can't i i just um Applied to well, it's a couple weeks old. Johnny uh, was talking about testing the Shooters World powders, and just uh, commented to him about this. That check out both uh, manuals because <laughs> it'll do you good. Um, broaden the horizons a little bit of what you think because yeah they're limited this the shooter's world because he's doing his own testing which i give him credit um for you know not just reprinting the same old what's out there you know and going calling it good it's actually doing his own own testing and uh guy will talk to you you know it's not just the secretary or some tech support guy you know they'll get you in touch with the ballistician i have found it it can be difficult to get hold of the office but the guy gave me a cell phone number and you know they made it much easier the second time <laughs> i didn't i didn't have to uh deal with either not not getting anyone or you know he's out of the office he's in an all right, well, let me let you go and see you in the next one. God bless. See ya.